Got Connie. Oh yes, doing very well. Teaching Connie today how to not be so excited around dogs, okay? Connie, come. What? Yeah, good job. Remote collars are very robust. Luckily. <laughs> um, so you're gonna hold it and you're just filming me, okay? The great thing is normally Connie would be so like not listening to the handler and just doing her own thing. So if you film Connie. So what I'm gonna do, and she would not be jumping all over that dog, right? So um I'm going to make her come over to me and already she's too much power on the dog. I'm gonna find that we're still learning. This line is what's confusing her, I'm not pressing anything. Connie! Yes! Oh, Rattler, can you unwrap that from round her? Just save me coming over. There we go. Tony, yes! Yay! Yeah, boy! Yes! Yes! Good girl! Good girl! Okay. So all I'm doing is I'm, I'm teaching her the remote collar like that. So we're on a six. Just trying to also just teach her, Connie, come, yes! Um, to pay attention to the person that's handling, because normally she doesn't. She normally pays attention to everything else, not the handler. So all I'm just teaching her here is to pay attention to me. I am important. Yes! Yeah! Oh, God. This line, it's funny because the line annoys her more than the remote collar. I don't care about the remote collar, the line, look at the state of the mirror. The line annoys her more. But she needs a line for teaching right now. Put me down. So what I'm trying to do is teach her to stay in tune with the handler. That, Connie. Yes, Dolly! Normally she'd be pulling, she'd be all over the place doing all the thing. Go, yes! Yes! Oh, is it good? <laughs> oh, you're learning. And it, it's wonderful that she was thinking to run to you first. That's wonderful. Um, but because I'm the handler right now and teaching, then she's to come to me. And what you won't see is a, you know, an upset dog, a change in demeanor. But definitely a learning dog. Dog that's learning. Yes! There's also one for definitely uh, getting tangled in the line. Yes! And uh, we've already been using a whole load of treats. Uh, we can use treats, nothing wrong with that. We do encourage actually food initially as that reinforcer. But right now we're not needing to. Just the affection is enough. She, she loves that. But just being around the dogs and not going mental is also a great desensitization. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And you never let her off? No. No, oh, so this is her getting off the leash, which is wonderful. She'll love that. I say you stick. And all I'm trying to teach her, even when she's off, because even when she's on the lead, she's not in tune with you. What I'm teaching her here, kind of, is when you're on the leash and off the leash, be in tune with me. My want trumps your wants. Because she wants to go jump on everybody and run across a road and blah, blah, blah. No. My want trumps. Yes. Yay! <laughs> so what people will probably fail to see Unless you're an experienced trainer with these collars, is we're amusing the collar. You know, you won't see a dog that's oh, and being upset and uncomfortable. You'll just see a dog that what really as soon as she reacts, she moves. That's because she's responding to the collar. But she's responding to the collar in a very positive way. All about being very patient because this is piano lessons. 
you have to teach her the foundation of what it means before you could use it to correct her for jumping on somebody, you know? This might work, might not, because I'm not holding the line, but we'll see if she comes. Yes! Yeah, come on! See, she's more unsure if I'm not holding the line. Good job. So you could do this without a remote collar, but just with the line. But you'd have to be way more physical. And ultimately then when she comes to, you would just be teaching her some recall, which is good, but then ultimately when she then comes to walking down the street and she jumps on dogs and people, no badness but gets too excited, you've not actually taught her anything that can match her when she goes up there, okay? At that time, going yes and good and food and doesn't matter to her. She's like, no, I want to do that more. The difference is the caller at that time has the ability to go, stop, come back, good job, yes. Yeah. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. So that's why we're doing this foundation to the caller, because it's going to give us the ability to communicate with her when she's up there at whatever level she needs. Then we have a relaxed dog. Much nicer. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what if I stop 